Hello everyone, welcome back again. My name is Jesse and in today's tutorial on natural language processing with Spacey, we're going to see and find the most common word in a particular document using Spacey and then Python. So let's see how to do that. So first of all, we're going to load our packages. So import Spacey. And then we need we need another package called counter, right? So from collections, import counter. Okay, okay perfect. Now let's load our document. So we're going to create first of all an NLP object. So NLP going to be spacey dot load here, right? So we are loading our English model and then create an NLP object. Then after that, we will load our document. So let's call it that docs. It's going to be NLP. Then open. Here's the document that we have. So that's what we'll be working on, right? So this is a passage from the scriptures. So we read. Perfect. So now it has finished loading it. Now, if you check for this document, realize that it's just some paragraphs, right? Some pages, passages in the scripture. So you can be trying to find the most common words inside this, as well like as the most common nouns and then the most common verbs. Okay, so first of all, let's create a, a list comprehension. So the list comprehension is going to be able to move out all punctuations and all stop words. So we remove all punctuations, punctuations, and then all stop words, right? So that we left it only the nouns, right? So that's what we want to do. So that we left only the nouns. That's what we want to do. So now let's see how to do that. So I'm going to create a list comprehension called called nouns. Then this is the list comprehension. So we're going to go with token dot test, right? So for token in docs, if that token is stop word, right? It's not a stop word. That is, if that token is not a stop word, that is true, right? And the token is not a punctuation so we are moving all things that are not punctuations and then that are not stop words and finally token dot pos so the pos is part of speed tag with the string group potential then you are going to equate it to whatever particular part of speech you want so we want only now so now perfect so if i go with this it's going to save it perfectly for us now if i check it back again and print it so nouns we're going to list only the nouns for us not not stop words not punctuation everything is going to be only nouns which is quite interesting now let's see how to find the most common ways so to find the most common ways it is going to go with this so we are going to call that red frequency which is going to be our counter which we imported from above so our counter right then we're going to pass in our nouns. So perfect. So this is going to create a word frequency for us, counting them perfectly. So to find the most common nouns, we are going to call it as common nouns. It's going to be word dot freak word freak right? The one we created dot most common. So we want the let's see, let's see top ten most common words there. So if you go with this, we save it. Then we print it back again. So print our common, right? It's going to print the most common nouns for us. So these are the most common nouns in this particular passage, right? So I is having five times. Good is four. Sinus is four. Man is four. House four. Three. So these are the most common nouns. The same procedure can be used to check with the most common verbs, right? So to find the most common verbs, you just do the same thing. So let me copy this one, and then let's paste it here. Right, so to find the most common verbs, not nouns, we're going to just go the same thing. So it's going to be verbs, and then realize that from the part of speech tagging, realize that some of the stop words can be verbs, like some stop words can be verbs. So it's, we can actually take the stop words out of it. That is, if it's a stop word, you can take those ones out, and then so that only punctuations will be given, right? So if token is point is called true and then put so we're going to change this one from now to verb and then in space you can actually be specific of the kind of verb you want so verb is going to work perfectly for us so now let's save it and now if you go back to the same procedure and then quit so print we're going to create something simple that is going to be our counter right in our verbs counter in our verbs dot most common Perfect. So these are the most common verbs inside this particular tab. 
So we have will appearing 15 times, is 14 times, B 11 times. So in case you have done it, we move, move of what do we call it? Stop ways to if we have done it in the same way, we realize that it has given us if token to if token is point and that let's call it as the stop ways, right? Wait, stop ways. This is so big, yes, right? If you do it like that, we can actually do the same procedure and then we're going to see the difference between them. That means that it's going to limit it to the, those with stop ways. See that it has limited it. Now it's only finding ways that are only verbs but are not stop ways. So these are the only verbs that are not stop ways, which is quite totally different from these ones here. Okay, so it is better sometimes you just have to remove the stop ways out, or you can just include the stop ways so that. It will move all the stop words and punctuation and then give you only the pure verbs, which are not stop words. So, thank you for watching. If you have any question or contribution or you have a better way of doing this, you can let us know. Thank you, and then please don't forget to subscribe. Stay